Hey guys, it's me, back with another seafood boil, y'all. And part four of the story about my brothers. So I'm gonna say grace and we're gonna get right into it. God is good, God is great. Thank you for the food we eat. Lord bless those that do not have any. If it be anything in this food to do my body any hurt, harm, or danger, I ask you in the name of the Most High to protect me. Lord, I ask you to look out for my ocean beauties, my followers, my kings and queens, and my people all over this blessed, blessed world. In the name of the Most High, amen. Yeah, you can't go nowhere without giving God what's his. Just like God ain't going to let you go nowhere without giving you what's yours. Like I said, what's meant for you is meant for you. What's meant for somebody else is meant for somebody else. Y'all, today I got um, some seafood from, from the Laughing Crab, y'all. From the Laughing Crab. My first time trying them. But I got corn smell so good. I got corn, mussels, eggs, crawfish, and potatoes, y'all. And some scrimps. And it's in a buttery sauce. Y'all know I've been trying not to mess with the butter. I really actually asked them to put my butter on the side. And when it came, it's, it's poured all over the food. So, like I said, I asked the Most High to protect me and keep me safe. I know what not to eat and how much of it, but y'all know what I want. So, let me get ready for my little thumbnail, baby. Yeah, boy. Okay. All right. So I'm finna get started. Y'all know I always love the sound of the cracking of the crab, so I always start with the crab first. Well, most of the time. Look at that. I hate when they do that, but I'm gonna eat a little bit, y'all. Then we gon' I'm gonna get into the story. I wonder how many of y'all. Uh, guess what, y'all? Guess what? We reached 200. We reached 200 so and a little past, so it's time for our giveaway. So now this is what the giveaway going to consist of. Four people. I'm looking for four people. You got to be subscribed to the channel, and you got to be done watch the video. Because at the end, I'm going to say something, and the first Four people who call me and tell me what I said, that's who going to get the prize. Okay, I need a, that bowl. Thank you. Y'all got my little, um, my little manager here with me today. It's crazy, y'all, because y'all wouldn't believe it. My manager, my manager is 12 years old, y'all. She is 12, and she called. She has basically, along with God, got me to where I am right now. She always behind the scenes, but she want to do a boil. So she never really asked for too much. A student in school. So I got her. I got to do a boil with her. I'm going to do a boil with her. Okay, y'all. So, ooh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I'm going to beat them, bit my finger because I'm eating fat. Y'all, this sauce is the bomb. Man, this, this sauce is the bomb. And I got medium spicy. Man, I say good. Only thing. Oh, y'all, and, and I got lobster. I got lobster. Look at that. Stretch him out, baby. I got a, uh, man, I'm in lobster heaven. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me bust this down. This the potato, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Okay, that's all right right there. It's almost all right up in here today, y'all. Okay, let me get started on the story. 
And I was going to eat a little bit, but I need to go on and start on the story. Okay, let's talk part four. Part three, we left off where we buried my brother. Okay. So my mom went and her and those girls went and got the proper paperwork so we could bring him home and bury him. That's something. My mama Vivi was a very strong woman. She wasn't going to take her down like that. So once we buried him, we had a family meeting. And we discussed what was going on and what we was going to do or try to do anyway. Because mine, it was other things going on. So we go, after we got all the necessary paperwork and stuff, we go see a lawyer. Because everybody know they killed the boy. We went and seen the lawyer. Six lawyers we saw, y'all. And not one of them would take the case. Not one. Actually told us, some of them actually told us that we had a case. But they didn't want to go up against the system. They said lawyers have lost their license for case, for case, excuse me, for cases like this. Okay, we ain't have no money to pay no good lawyer. We were just hoping that they heard our story and would help us. Hmm. No. My mama started getting all kind of phone calls all during the night and people saying little stuff to her. She she wasn't scared, don't get me wrong. She wasn't scared. So if they thought they were scaring her, they thought wrong. Cause one thing my mama was, and that's a warrior. That's where I got it from. She was a warrior. She stood on what she believed in. So, anyway, we went back and forth trying to get somebody to take the case. Nobody wants to take the case. So, finally, um, um, what's called um, a public defender came forward. He wasn't scared of none of that. He didn't care about it getting out of hand or none of that. So now they knew we had somebody that was going to help us. Why well, motherfuckers started disappearing? The nurse disappeared. The, the sheriffs or deputies that was on duty that night disappeared. Staff at the hospital disappeared by the time we got around to getting a case in court which we never did because there wasn't nobody to testify the boys who told us about it was still in jail and all of a sudden they couldn't have no visitors Um, time went on. Now, mind you, two of my brothers went to jail together. My second oldest brother and my baby brother. My baby brother's the one they beat to death. My second oldest brother started going through some stuff up in there. I guess these were some of the threats that were being made to my mama that um, if we didn't calm down or whatever, my brother that was still in jail was going to catch the flat. They didn't come out and say it like that, but we know what the hell they meant. Ain't nobody stupid. So, we go to see him or whatever. He tell us, this the second brother. He tell us that they was putting stuff in his food. 
Thorazine is what they was put giving him. And he, he didn't know at the time what it was, but he knew that the food didn't taste like it should have been tasting. So he started refusing to eat. They locked him up in his room because he wouldn't eat. They locked him in the room because he wouldn't eat. And um, we went up there to see him. We went to see him, and he had like a um, bandage thing on his wrist. You know, like somebody wrapped your wrist from when you done got hurt. He had one of them on his wrist. So we asked him, you know what? We was just up here. What's wrong with you? What happened to your wrist? What's going on, bro? He said that he was in the shower. He said he noticed his two guards kept coming back and forth. He thought the guards were finna try to do something to him. He said it was strange there wasn't nobody in there but him. He said it needs two guards. So, he continued to take his shower. He said he'd get ready to go out. When he get ready to go out, these three big biker dudes, white dudes, attacked him. Now, my brother's always been, he kind of tall. He's always been slim body down. He's never been a, a big boy. But he's always been a fighter. So he said when he went to go out, the guard pulled the door thing up. He said he knew then it was some shit. He said, so he just took position. He said, and I took position. He said, and I gave it all I had. And he told they ass up. He told they ass up. So they was trying to stop the visit actually when we when we went up there. But they the other guard had done put it through. He let us in. But they was trying to stop the visit. So after we left, he normally once once we leave, once he thinks we at home, he'll call to make sure we made it. He never called. So we wind up. His next visit going back up there. He in the hole. Why is he in the hole? We was just up here. What did he do that for? Why is he in the hole? For fighting these three white dudes that y'all put on him. Because y'all thought they, that they was going to hurt him. But they mess around and went in there and found out that, that, wasn't, that this wasn't that. And he kicked their ass. He kicked their ass. They got a few good ones in on him too, but for the most part, he tore their ass up. So, that's why he was in the hole. Okay, he was in the hole, they say, for 30 days. So, that meant we couldn't see him. That's so, whatever could be done, they could fix a hive. You know how they be trying to do little shysty sh Anyway, when we was finally able to come back up there to see him, that's how he wound up telling us what happened. He said, and when y'all leave, he said, every time y'all come up here and y'all leave, he said, I get in trouble. He said, I wind up getting into something. He said, because they get to fucking with me. Then talk about my mama and how they going to F his nephews and all kind of little dirty shit. Little devilish shit. Evil shit. And that would make him show out. That would make him show out. That's what they wanted. So he could show his ass and they could put him back in the hole, which keeps us from seeing him. So, the last time we went to see him, He asked us not to come back again. And now I'm 38 hot. We all are, because we don't understand 
why is you not? So we thought you were just upset because he had been in a hole and was just talking. So we visited him that time, then we went home. The next week, mm, y'all, this is good enough, motherfucker. I'm sorry. The next week, um, we go up to see him. He refused to visit. He refused to visit. We did everything we could. We thought it was them. He actually told us when he called us that every time y'all come, he said, I love seeing y'all. He said, but when y'all leave and I can't go with y'all, he said, it, 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 it angers me because I'm a grown man and I'm being held for something that I didn't do. But because I'm black and ain't got no money, I may as well have done it because there is no justice for me. And there's so many of them up in jail like that, y'all. Ain't got no money. Some of them ain't got no family. They just stuck. So anyway, my mom, shortly after that, passed. She passed. The doctor said, that she just wasn't sick or nothing like that. She was tired. All that shit they did to her babies. She was tired. She was tired. And once my baby brother died, it was all bad, y'all. It was all bad. But you know what? I never gave up in believing in God. Never. I never blamed God for nothing or none of that. I never did. Never. I never blamed him. But it just show you how people can take what they take you and do what they want to do with you because you ain't got that almighty dollar. They can just do what they want to do with you. That makes them superior over you, I guess. So they think. Because they ain't none of them superior over me. None of them. It just pisses me off the way that they do our young black men and starting to do the women too. And you want to try to keep a level head and be fair about stuff, but it make you start asking questions in your mind. What the hell is really going on? So, after um, my mom passed at my mom's funeral, folks had to get permission to let them know she died and... Get, at that time, they used to bring you to your mother or father funeral. You could get permission to come to the funeral if you was in jail. I don't think they do that no more. But you used to do that. So he got permission to come to the funeral. Once the funeral was over, we had to serve him. Before we took her to the cemetery... They put us all in a room at the funeral home so we could visit with my brother. They brought him in there. He shackled down. Can't even hug his back. The, head, the, the restraints were so tight. So, anyway, once he seen all of us, his mom was gone. He whispered in, it was me, I think it was me and my other sister. It was two of us standing there. And he whispered in our ear. He said, y'all call the distraction. Because I'm finna run. I'm finna make them kill me. I'm like, what? He said, I'm finna make them kill me. I ain't going back to that place. He said, I ain't going back to that place. So... We didn't really have to call the distraction because something happened that caused the distraction. And while everybody was running and trying to pay attention to what was going on, I promise true story, y'all, he hid it. He hid it from um, Pitt's funeral home for y'all that know where that is in Milwaukee to 12th and Valley. That's what they called him at. And the only way they caught him, he had crawled up under a car because he had on all the restraints. And they heard the chain when he moved his feet. Because they wouldn't have never caught him. 
He was out of there. He had made it that far. And I don't know, somebody called and t said they seen him or I don't know how they wind up finding out exactly where he was. I'm not really clear on that. Y'all, this Lobster Tales is so good. So, so, so good, y'all. And I ain't really been sharing with y'all. And I'm so sorry. Y'all know how I get when I get on the story. But I need for y'all to like, share, and subscribe this video. Hit that notification bell to let me, so I can let y'all know when I'm uploading. Um, we're doing the giveaway tomorrow. Well, no. Yeah. We doing the giveaway Sunday. Sunday we doing it. So for the first people, let me see. For the first people that hit me up, I'm gonna be checking Facebook and Instagram. The first four people hit me up. I'll be sending y'all, I'll have y'all send me y'all cash app thing so I can cash app y'all. The prize is $25 for four different people to buy, buy you lunch or whatever. I don't care what you do with it, but four people. When you, t when you hit me up, Make sure you type in the word Coco. That's my dog's name. Type in the word Coco. The first four people. This is going to happen on Sunday. Um, I need a date for Sunday. What's Sunday's date? The finest. Okay, Sunday, uh, the 5th of June. That's on a Sunday. The 5th of June is when I'm going to be looking to see who the first four people to hit me up. This is the fact you can never go wrong with water. So, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go post it on Instagram, and I will be posting it on Facebook, y'all. So y'all know. Oh, I'm throwing this all in my face, y'all. Thank y'all for letting me come into y'all home and talk y'all ear off and enjoy my food with y'all. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Whenever y'all come in and 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 let me you know eat with y'all, I hope y'all. Took my word and my advice on that uh that formula too. Please. But yeah, so remember y'all, like I always say. Y'all still eating. If you ain't got something good to say to somebody to make their day, remember. Keep your opinion to your damn self. I love y'all, my ocean beauty, all my followers. All my kings and queens and all my people everywhere. I love y'all. Y'all the best. Y'all got me to that 200 like it was nothing. Okay, now the next one. Come on, y'all. Let's get this five, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank y'all for having my back, y'all. I'm out of here.